Hey everyone, it's Melissa. Today I'm going to film a brief introduction to a video that I actually did earlier in the week. Um, I'll try to keep it brief because I actually have the flu and bronchitis. I went to the doctor Friday and they did that flu test, which is just horrible. They go way up in your nose on each side. And so came back that, yeah, I did have the flu. And she also said I had bronchitis. So um, I thought, well, I'm going to... I had filmed this video earlier in the week and I thought, well, I'll do a brief introduction and then while I'm having to lay around over the next few days, then I can work on it and get it uploaded. And, and I'll do my best answering comments. So uh, when, uh, earlier in the week before I got sick, I had to go to Knoxville to like get a mold checkup and stuff like that. So I did a quick get ready with me. And um, what I did was um, periodically people will say, you know, do you mind doing a video on this or do a video on that? If it's something that I think that I can do, then I'll take a screenshot of it and save it and then try to do the video about what they uh, asked about. So that's what I did. I'm doing two requests in this Get Ready With Me. And the first one is from the Friendly Troll. And she wanted to know how I got, uh, did the eyeliner in my upper waterline. Uh, so I think I had done a video on it before, but I couldn't find it. I was doing this get ready with me anyway, so I thought I would just incorporate it in that. And the other one is from um, Maria Lorraine, and she wanted to show how I like to do a one eyeshadow look. So I took the Urban Decay Smoked Palette. It's a dark, and I took the dark, dark green, emerald green color in it and did a get ready with, um, and I had that color on today. I did a, an eyeshadow look with that. So um, anyway, I am going to uh, upload this and try to get it up and then lay down and have some hot chicken noodle soup. Hot, have some hot chicken soup. So uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Okay, I'm going to use the smoked palette. Even though I'm wearing blue today, I don't ever watch, match my eyeshadow to my clothes, I'm gonna put on this emerald green color um, it's the it's called loaded and it's from the smoked palette urban decay you can still get it a few places um, I don't it's been discontinued but I still saw it on places so um, you know I'll, I'll see if I can find it but that that uh, it's just a beautiful palette with lots of rich beautiful jewel colors I'm just going to take a little flat elf brush and Go in there and just put it all over my eyelid. Just kind of roughly put it on. That was a little strong. <laughs> Blend that out. Okay. Then I'm going to take... Um, I'm going to take another little elf brush, just a little round, perfectly little round one that's kind of fluffy and just kind of blend that up a little bit. Actually, I'm going to blend all over it because I got too much on. And, you know, that happens. I think it's the type of palette you need to tap it off, and I didn't. And that flat brush will really pick up things, too. So I'm just kind of blending it a little bit, just kind of making it not so. It is a pretty color though, so I might keep it kind of bold. Okay, then I'm going to take, like I said, I'm just using one color. So I'm going to take uh, an E, oh, I love this brush, it's the uh, Sigma E45, my fa favorite brush for the crease, and I'm going to go dark into the crease. And then I'm taking a clean flat brush, clean, make sure it's clean, and flicking up to blend it. And wiping it off. That kind of makes sort of a transition color too. this crease and then flick it up 
to blend it out. I try to flick up just the top part so it's sort of dark in my crease but blurring the edges, if that makes sense. So this is how I do a one shadow look. Let me, I put a little bit underneath too. Okay. And just going to add, just do a little tiny, I think it's a little MAC brush. Probably, let's see, it's a MAC, uh, it's like a MAC 228. And just take a little bit and tap it off and go underneath. Just a little underneath because I've got so much above my eye. This is very pigmented, so it's easy to get too much. If you do, I just take my, my finger and just sort of blend it in. Okay, now that's all I'm gonna do. You know, if you wanted to add another color, you could put it above the brow bone, but I'm just doing one shadow, so that's all I'm gonna do. Now I'm gonna take my um, eyeliner to do the upper waterline, and this is how I do it. Let me find it. I like to use the NARS uh, Via Veneto. I think it's large uh, NARS. It's rubbed off. NARS Larger Than Life Via Via Veneto. Via Veneto. I think that's how it is. Okay, and roll it up. Now, I don't wear contacts, so uh, my eyes, I just, you know, my eyes are more sensitive probably than those that do. I see people all the time that just, you know, go back and forth with their eyes open. I can't do that. I just blink and go crazy. So the only way I've been able to do it, I've even tried, you know, lifting and doing that. I just end up, you know, blinking. I just, I can't take it. My eyes just water and it messes up my makeup. So the only way I have been able to do it is to, okay, first touch my bottom line, close my eye over it, and then do it up point it up and go back i have to look in the mirror so just do it right there close my eye and point it up and go back and forth and back and forth i don't know if you can see or not but it does make a line up there and you can kind of see the difference uh if you get a little bit on your bottom line i like to you know do my bottom water line too but if you don't want to, just, and it gets any on there, but I didn't get any on there, just, well, I got some down here, just, uh, you know, you can just take a, uh, your finger or a tissue or something and wipe it off, but I, I'm, I usually don't do that, okay? Another way you can do to it is to go through your eyelashes, if that even bothers you. I'm, I can do that, that, I can stand that, but if your eyes are so sensitive and you're not, you know, used to touching it, you can just go through your eyelashes like that. Just make sure you don't have on mascara first because it won't work. But that sort of gets it above the eyelashes too and below. Okay, then I'm going to put on my mascara. I can always tell when I do my mascara. I have really, I don't particularly have really sensitive eyes, I don't think, but I just have a hard time touching my eyes because, or touching the rims of my eyes. I can touch my eyeball like if I get something in it, but I just can't touch those rims. I just, uh, I can my bottom, but I just can't touch that top rim. It just, uh, it burns and itches, not burns, but it just, ir you know, it just irritates me. You'd think of all the years I've been wearing eye makeup, I, I would have desensitized eyes by now. I figured out the other day that I started wearing makeup on my 13th birthday. Pretty much worn it, unless I'm sick or something, daily since then, or taking a little break. Daily since then. I'll be 63 on my birthday, so what is that? 50 years I have been wearing makeup. You would think I could touch my top rim by now. Okay. Uh, just going to do a little blush on my way to get mold check. And I'm going to put on some, that's a pretty strong eye, so I think I'll put on a, well, I think I'll put on a light color. I'm going to put on uh, the 540 Peach Buff by Maybelline. Maybelline 540 Peach Buff. Nice here. Okay. I'm going to line my lips with the Laura Mercier. The 
Dior Mercier uh, in Plumberry, the lip liner. So just line my lips like that. Do some of the, like I said, it is uh, peach buff. It's a matte. And I'll put lip gloss over it. Just my lip gloss is always white Russian by Buxom. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take down my hair and I'll show you the finish. So my battery is getting ready to run down. Here's the finished look with the tight lining and the eyeshadow, one eyeshadow look with a very dark eyeshadow. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. This was a lot of fun to do. I am off to Knoxville and I hope everyone has a wonderful upcoming weekend and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.